All right, what? Where to next? I thought it was obvious. We're headed west. To the reach. We're going to find that third place where we need to go to finish the destruction mastery ritual. And then I this won't be just is incessant a learner. Incessant. Soon I will also be a master. Only a master of destruction, Lord. <coughs> yes, that's what I said. Oh, look, it's Helgen. Hmm. I remember when we first came here. Granted, it was on the back of a prisoner cart, readying us for execution. But I thought this place looked like a very vibrant, bustling town. Albeit, uh, Legion Garrison Town. Alright. No bandits. I have one more opening for a thrall. I'm a very good master. There, lost one. I'm sure. <laughs> you know what? My thralls, I take care of them. I give them the best equipment. I keep them clean, clothed. Of course, I had to kill them first. But then, I basically resurrect them. Yes, in a way. Dead Thrall, after all, isn't just a simple reanimation spell. It actually is a form of resurrection. Though the new life that they are given is tied directly to yours. In a way, it's an extension of your own life. Your own life force. Very interesting. What? What? What's that? Oh, really? Really? Thank you, Inigo. Could always get a bit of morale boost from you. And an ego boost as well. Alright. You look awesome. I'm thinking that Lydia would look amazing as well if dressed in full Dragonborn armor. Where did you get your armor? Not telling? Yeah. That's one flaw in the thralls. Alright, these cultists are really getting a bit more annoying. So, do you want to go to Solstein? No, not yet. Hey. Not comfortable with leaving Skyrim while Aldrin is still around. I as well. Let's have our priorities straight. Don't want to go away on some holiday, even a working mm. one, and then come back here, finding all the dragons now holding sway. Yes, though we did kick his arse, his big bat-winged arse. This place is a bit familiar. Yes, Maud, that's the camp where you engaged in one of your earlier battles to the death. By yourself. 
Yes, look, and there are new bandits. At least I assume they're bandits. Yeah. This air is pure Let's see. and clean. Hello? Hello there. Hey. Hi. All right. Let's lighting bolt. Yes. Still alive. Right. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, I hit power. No, oh, that's, that's not hard. I thought I hit one of our own. Hmm. All right. Could any of these poor, unfortunate souls make a good trial? Where's the other one? Ah, you're just. Best one is uh, not you. Eh. Good armor, but what? What? What's going on? Ow! 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 Ow. What? Oh. Oh. Ah. All right, you will. having a crew to run with. Alright, you're awesome. Look at this one. Ooh, you are loaded. And you seem to have a bit of a bounty on your head. Ooh, look. We should give this to Inigo to complete his armor set. Dwarven armor. Armor axe. We'll take that. All right. Enjoy your lunch. Is it lunch? No, it's more like early dinner. Where's that other one? Yes, you. You're interesting. Bandit Spellmard Mage Bane. I think this one is a witch hunter of sorts. Alright, All right, uh, let's give her some stuff. You could do. What? What is your stuff? Huh. Alright, that's a nice sword, but you could do a lot better. Take that. Or no, take that. Give me that. And as for equipment... Alright, um... 
Let me put that on. And uh, is that all? Well, let's get you a cloak. Where's that other one? There you go. Thank you. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, well. Where's our new girl? Ah. Alright, you need to put stuff away. <laughs> ah. That's better. Witch plate for a witch hunter. And let's put stuff away. Need something? I'm fine. Oh, very helpful of you, huh? To ask... To ask you if I needed anything. I like that. Look at this, Tis. I'm fairly sure this is a Daedic weapon. I'd like to give it to someone who can use it well. I don't want to give it to a Thrall, they might just lose it. Maybe we can give it to a follower who will make the most of it. Why not give it to Lydia? I like Lydia having a shield. Alright. If that's all, come on, let's go. So. We'll be going along. What the hell? Scared them off. Alright. Skeevers. Forget vampires. Skyrim has a skeever problem. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I just realized. We're near that plot of land that we purchased in Falkyrie. Let's check it out. Oh, we don't have time for this. We always have time. Hello? What was that? Come on, you yeah. Get your mess with me. Still alive? Well, that was fast. <laughs> Oh, we could have been good neighbors. Oh, look at this. We bought a plot of land near uh, near what seems to be a ritual altar. That's amazing. If I knew that, I'd have agreed to the purchase immediately. Huh. Anyway, I think it's up here. Um. Yes, I, I, I believe the place is called Lakeview Manor. I think this is part of the land. Oh, here it is. Nothing is here. Tis, are you blind? This is land. 
We now own our own land. I mean, my family has always been, you know, well to do, but we've never really owned land. We were like, we were tenants. Mother would be so proud. Maybe we could... Ah, it's fine. Look! Ah! It's even a... Alright. Ooh. We can start building. But... We don't have time right now. Fine. But look! This is our... We have a great view of the lake. Of course, there's a necromancer altar there, but aside from that... Oh my gosh. Best 8,000 gold I've ever spent. That remains to be seen. I'm sure it will be be glorious Brandis Manor well Brandis Brandis how home um, minus Brandis <laughs> um, just think we could spend our afternoons here we have a little picnic here Yes, you can watch the slaughter fish devour other little fish and wait for skeevers to scurry by. If that isn't paradise, I don't know what is. <laughs> ah. The glitty at my side. Ah. Dead Imperials. Well, so much for the Legion never leaving their dead behind. Oh well. Ah, the Legion always just promises that you're in it for life. That person was dead. Alright, that's has true. Been pretty interesting uh, so far. Thank goodness. Tomorrow I've been wandering alone for so long, I thought I'd never see another soul again. Um, alright, uh, calm down. Just tell me what happened. I was kidnapped by these bandits weeks ago. They locked me up in the towers near Mistwatch. Mistwatch? I managed to pick the lock and slip out while the guards slept. But now, I'm completely lost. Can you help me, please? Mistwatch, I, I've... I've already cleared out Mistwatch. And it's not a place I actually want to talk about at length. Anyway, there's a town nearby, uh, Falkreath, in that direction. Do you need help getting there? You can come with us. Oh, thank you. But I should be fine now that you've shown me the way. But those bandits have to be stopped. They're at Mistwatch. Here, let me show you on your map. If you can stop them, you'll be a true hero. But I've already... Well, more conceivably, there are more bandits. As you said, Mistwatch is a prime bandit hideaway. It won't remain deserted for long. I'm not going back there. Do you still feel guilt because of that father? I'm not really guilty. He, he brought it upon himself.
dragon, definitely. Ah, right, come on. We all accounted for one, two, three, four. Fairly sure it's not Alduin. He won't be showing his ugly face. Huh? Alright, who are you? Bad idea. What the hell? Oh, oh look! Oh. A troll and cultists fighting together. You know what? So you don't... Dragonette, Dragonette, Dragonette. I almost forgot. Go! <laughs> Come back here. What? That was needlessly fun. Dragon souls <laughs> are smelly. I do you enjoy that. Oh look! Oh. Well, dragon, you were looking for trouble. You found it. <clears throat> All right. Else, come on, give it up. Are you eating? <laughs> All right, that was um, a dragon. That happened. One, two, three. All right. Where are we? Um, come on. Let's go find a spot where we can set up camp. I mean, I don't want to just go inside the staff of Shalidor and leave our companions outside. Well, we can actually bring Inigo and wander out of their Lydia inside. If you hear groaning, and let them just me know. leave Lucian. Not Lydia. Well, your friend has Lydia. vows to keep him company. Yes, I'm sure they'd have a wonderful time together. Lydia, you are very good at making zombie noises. Thank you. Oh, who are you? Hello. Oh, look at the colors. Oh, you are. You're the. You're the homeowner of that uh, mill over there? Huh. All right. All right, then. Yes. What? That woman is, uh... Yes, I know. She's... She's very brave to be walking out here when there's a dragon about. 
No, I mean she's not normal. I think women can be brave here. M women are very brave. What? Hello there. Hello there. Um, oh my, a guest. Uh, no, not not really. But do you have lodgings? Uh, if, if we could, uh, I, I have a rather large... You know what? I have a rather large party. I, I, I'd rather not impose. Until next time. Yes. Well, all right. What? Those two are vampires. Yes, I know. They probably <coughs> murder people who come along. We don't know that. They run a mill. Where have you seen vampires actually doing honest work? You don't. Perhaps those are vampires who just want to make a living. Whatever. I'd have incinerated them on sight. Well, that is, if you were in charge. You're not. They seem peaceful. So we'll leave them be. Whatever. Mm, Alright, hello. What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? Go home to your mother. Uh, High Lock is too far away. Oh, I'd love to see her again. Perhaps another time. I mean, there's so much things to do. All right, then. <sighs> you never cease to amaze me, Mort. Right. Is there a place to set up camp here? Maybe it's better if we just continue on. Hmm. All right. I think we're nearing the crossroads. Funny thing is, after encountering a dragon, the night doesn't seem so scary. <laughs> Well, it helps that you have a small army at your back. Yes, I really recommend one for traveling in Skyrim. What time is it? It's midnight, or just after midnight. You know what, let's... Let's set up camp. Here is a nice spot. All right. All right, unfortunately we only have three beds. So. Look at that. Well, someone's having a bit of trouble over there. Check it out in the morning. I'm tired. No, someone has to stay up, take charge of the thralls, while the rest of us uh, turn in for the night. You decide. I'm fine with whoever. In you go. All right. We'll give it a go. A break after this. All right. <coughs> Good night. Ah. Here you go. Mm-hmm. I hope you uh, are not too tired. 
What's next? And we're leaving. Ah, all right. Let's have a bit of breakfast. of wine. Anyway. Good morning, Tis. So far, today smells lovely. I hope it does not work as the hours pass. of what we've managed to accomplish. So let's see what happened here. I think who's that? What? You're a vampire. All right. Still have their stuff. They have good stuff. Right, where? We got some stuff from them. Glass dagger of interference. Ooh. Drains magic. Major magica. Fire abatement. Ooh, alright. Ah, anyway. Interesting. Yes, we do have a bit of a vampire problem. What do you think about the Dawn God mod? Those vampire hunters? Based in that old fort near Riften? Thinking of signing up myself? Really? No, of course not! Just parroting what every guard basically says when she... All right, here we are. Speaking of vampires, that's a vampire there. We've been there. Done that. All right. Huh. Sorry, I had no choice. Forgive me. What? What? Hello? Are you alright? What's going on over here? I've been waiting for you. Oh, alright. You know these ambushes will only work if you actually strike a bit faster. Hey you! 
Eh, whatever. I think they just forced her to help. I'd have still killed her. Yeah, it's fine. Ooh, look, it's a Khajiit. Did he go? I hope you don't uh, feel bad that we killed one of your cut. No, he doesn't. Feel bad. <laughs> Oh, it is a female Khajiit. Oh well. Alright. This is a very dangerous road. Well, not for people like us, but... I mean, if you're not prepared... Could give you a bit of a nasty time. Ooh, look at this place. I feel safe when you are around. It is nice to know that someone capable has my back. Remind me, I think this place... I don't remember this place being this... big. Rorikstad, yes, it's Rorikstad. Maybe on our way back we could explore it a bit. This place would have made a much better site for our new residents. I don't think there are any vacancies. Look at that. That's a nice porch. I'd like to have a porch like that in our house have a nice view. Uh, we could have a house built entirely of porches, Mont. Just take care of everything first before you go house building. Right, right. Time for everything. Right. Wait a moment. We made the wrong turn. <laughs> uh, oh, all right. We made the wrong turn. <laughs> Sorry, we headed for solitude at this point. Let's go back. Well, that ambush did just more than delay us. It caused us to go off course. You know what? I think we can cut here. There's no hurry anyway. We're, we'll get to the reach. I mean, all we have to do is go west. I have a really distinct feeling of deja vu. Huh. Anyway. Oh. What's that for? Right. Are we going in the right direction? We should. Alright. That way, west! As long as we go west, we'll. We'll get to the reach eventually. What's this? That's a Force Ward encampment. You know what that means? There are Force Ward there. Means we're on the right direction. Force Ward and the reach, they're basically one and the same. Oh, 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 right, oh, right. oh, look. There. 
Found you. It's the mountain goat. Well, saves us having to go all that way. But <laughs> it was just a really. Come on. Must have scared him off. Yes, you did, my valiant witch hunter. Are you making her another wife of yours? No, of course not. It's not my type. I'm just appreciating my thralls. Sue me. Are we on the right track? Yes, we are. Right. Where we... does snow come from, I wonder? My brother said it is dead skin scratched from the arms of the gods. Maybe he was right. I hope not. <laughs> Dandruff of the gods, really. That's a novel concept. And uh, not something that's altogether unreasonable. We are, after all, just ground crawling worms subsisting on the gods' leftovers. That's such a fatalistic view of things. But I like it. What's this? Oh, it's an inn. All right, I think we've uh, we've come to a point where we can uh, take a break. I think we deserve it. Yeah, it's fine. This place just a an inn out of nowhere. There's something strange about this place. Yeah, I mean the skull is a bit sinister, but old Roldan. Yeah. I think it's fine. Let's go inside. Ah, a visitor. Old Rolden Inn has hundreds of years of history, friend. Thank you. Um, ah! Hello? Ah! What? No more. I yield. I yield. What? Ah! Um, ah! It's an inn. You're supposed to feel safe here. Ah! Uh, no. You'll be looking to rent Tiber Septim's room, I take it? Tiber Septim's room? That's right. In the Second Era, Tiber Septim himself led the army that conquered Old Rolden from the Barbarians of the Reach. Septim would later found the Empire that united Tamriel, but his first known battle and victory was right here. And this inn has the very bed the great general slept in on his first night as old Ralden's liberator, as good as it was hundreds of years ago. Enough. Whoa! All right, that sold me. I'll read Tiber Septim's room. Have a good rest. It's the big room with the double bed. Awesome. All right, thank you. I'll show you to your room, right this way. Um, no more. I yield. I what? Yield. Do you actually yeah. believe that? What the hell? Alright, um, you take it. Come on. Troll is dead. 
Troll is dead. The roads of Skyrim lead to many dangers. Yes, and apparently even the inns. Mercy! The troll's dead. Did you clean the linens yet? I did. Those mead stains are always tricky. Anyway, um, let's have the others take a break. Uh, Indigo. Uh huh. Yes. Um, you have my full attention. Just uh, relax a little, right? Okay, I will unwind it all. I think we'll stay here for a while. After all, this Hello is. Hello um, We'll stay here for a while, Lucian. I, wish I, had I want to make the most out of Tiber Septim's room. Right, you are, boss. What's next? So I was saying more. Do you actually believe that bullshit about Tiber Septim? Why? I mean. Look at that. It, uh, it looks uh, fairly modest mm. for a historical bed. Yes. Well, it has been hundreds of years. What do you expect? You're lucky it still actually exists. Huh. Lydia. Tiber Septim's bed. A bed fit for an emperor and his empress. Eh, it's, um, it's a bit too early. Anyway, the hell? Troll actually came in here. Oh, whatever. Look alive, will ya? Yes, Mom. I am glad to be here relaxing with you by my side. Friends are an essential part. You want of a drink? I think. <sighs> You're awfully mature for your age. Watch your tongue, stranger. What? We don't take back talk in this inn. We should uh -huh. rest while we can. All right. We have to keep our strength. And run along then. All right then. Huh. Really? You know, how do you expect to have people? Uh, uh, you were saying? What is on your mind? Uh, how do you think I'm doing, Inigo? After all this time? I am honored you want my opinion. Yes, uh, take your time. We have a lot of time. Okay. I will list some of your attributes. Here we go. You smell like a wild beast today. What? You are okay for gold at the moment. Um... You have never done time in a cell, unlike me. You have become quite the wanderer. You are beginning to know Skyrim like the back of your hand. You own your own home. That is a big positive in my book. Eh, uh, let me think. You are a powerful master of destruction magic. Uh -huh. You are healthy. Try to stay that way. Charismatic does not sum you up. You could talk a dragon into setting itself on fire. Maybe <laughs> try that next time. Uh. You are strong, free, and single. Uh. You can hold your own with a one-handed weapon. There is always more to be learnt, though. You yes. are trying to help us all by going after that smelly Alduin fellow. Your efforts are to be applauded. I hope you win. You I have hope great so fashion sense. Uh, let's see. Two-handed weapons do not seem to suit you. I feel the same way. They are heavy and cumbersome. You are not into politics. Uh, what else? You do not seem to be practiced in the art of stealth yet. Reading broadens the mind, and what a broad mind you have. You are educated. Of course. You like to haul around random useless items for some reason. 
<laughs> you are not a good archer. Do not worry, I will take care of that side of things. Oh, of course. Now, how do I conclude? You are unmatched in almost every area. You are a walking legend in your own time, my friend. You are inspiring. That is that. I hope you enjoyed my insight. Very much so, Idigo. Thank you. Anyway, anything else you want to chat about? Yes, why not? So, what do you think of Skyrim so far? After all our travels? It has many troubles, but it is worth protecting. There is much beauty in this land. Do you like it here? Yes, indeed. Sky of Troubles will have trouble with me, after all. <laughs> trouble is your middle name, I bet. Mine is Colin. Really? <laughs> you are more unkind than I remember. It is my middle name. There is nothing I can do about it. Do not laugh, please. Alright, I'm sorry. It's a good middle name. It suits you. Yes, I think so. It comes from a long-haired, sword-wielding bookshop owner my parents knew. Colin the Librarian, they called him. Colin the Librarian? Why did they name you after him? He was a good man and very well read. I suppose they hoped I would achieve some of his wisdom. Knowledge is hard work, though. And what's your second name? I haven't decided yet. How about... Inigo the Champion? I hope I am worthy of such a title. To be honest, it feels like a lot to live up to. Ah, we will see. Alright. Okay. Well, anyway, I think that's enough for now. Thank you, Inigo. Fair enough. Or is it... Colin. <laughs> it's a sorry, sorry. Goodbye for now. Yes, indeed. Colin. <laughs> Who would have thought? You learn something new every day. Yes, we do. Don't we? Martin Wilmer Brandis. 